We are here at Chinook Regional Hospital in County Hall for a very special segment. Today the volunteers are stuffing stockings that will go to each patient's bedside, people who have to be in the hospital on Christmas. It's a, a long-standing uh, project that's been going on for many years. It just keeps getting better and more beautiful. And I'm here with Wendy Bushell. She's one of the volunteers that's kind of choreographing this event. Wendy, welcome. Thank you. Tell us how long you've been involved and how you've seen the, the whole project kind of evolve. Um, well, I've been a volunteer here at the hospital since 2008, and I think my first year just helping to stuff stockings was that year. And then um, I was recruited onto the committee to help organize it. So it's been a big job, but it has got bigger and bigger every year. This year we were asked for um, extra stockings, especially for uh, some departments in the hospital, so uh, we've really excelled with the number of stockings that we have got. So yes, it's grown from the original, I believe the original purpose of it was to deliver newborn babies to mums in the hospital in a, stocking. in a stocking. And that was the first ones that happened, and since then it's got that um, every patient who is staying in the hospital for sure gets a stocking but we also give them to centres like the cancer centre, emergency, um, um, day treatment, <clears throat> day treatment gets gets them, um, yes yeah, so there's there's a lot of people that get them so that's great. It's and I've, I have heard anecdotally people have told me stories that even if they are not Christians who mark Christmas, mm -hmm. they still very, very much appreciate the gesture and the, and, that, and the wonderful things that are in the stockings. Have you heard that too? Yes, I think it's just the idea of getting something with uh, giving it in love and knowing that it's come from um, someone who really cares about you. And I think the, the biggest thing that I enjoy every year is the children that give the letters of hope. Um, Let's talk about that. Yes, um, we have several schools in, in Lethbridge who, they're, I think they're their grade four and five children that write letters, um, just a little note to uh, wish the people happy Christmas, to say that, you know, they hope they're getting better and that they're well, and some of them are just a treasure. And from what I've heard from people who have told me about the stockings, that's one of the highlights that they like, is getting this little letter from a little person who really cares about them at this time of year. So sweet. It is. I, I also understand that we have some groups in the city who do sewing, like every stocking is handmade, mm -hmm. and they get a little competitive. Well, I think they kind of have. Um, I actually personally belong to the Lethbridge Centennial Quilt Guild, and this year they gave well over 350 stockings just for that one group. It's remarkable. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But there are places, um, I think Martha's House and Grand View, um, you know, some of the senior homes, or not homes, but senior places of residence, they just get up for the challenge, and um, I think they increase every year, like the guild does so it's been wonderful it's just heartwarming every every angle of it it is it is because i think um phil told me that they've had over a thousand stockings this year and we needed 650 we were really panicking that that wasn't going to happen that we probably wouldn't get that many so the community at large is wonderful because i'm sure that there's lots of other sewing ladies out there who have donated them as well. So. so when you knew you were going to need a lot more this year, how do you put out the call to try to gather your forces to make more? Well, I just went to a, you know one of our regular meetings and stood up in front and said, here it is again, ladies, this is the time of year. I think it was in September. Um, that we need you know your help again and would love to get the stockings. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I did tell them that we needed extra this year and they rallied around and it was just wonderful. In fact, the last meeting that I went to, I had 155 stockings handed to me that night. Oh so my gosh, if this isn't one of the best Christmas stories, I don't know what is. It's, it's, it's really a genuine um, great help for all these ladies in the community and yes, they just rally. Yes. Well, thank you for telling us about it, and thank you for all the work that you do as a volunteer. We appreciate it so much.